Marque. Marquez is tussling with Blackwell. Ricky's up in the air. Oh, oh no, no, that's an undercut. That's, that that's is being discouraged foul. here by the PBA. They don't want this anymore. That's, oh. that's uh, when he commits unacceptable. something like that, Pingo, he should not be given a warning. Well, you can see the Big J also rejected. standing up and saying, you know, play the game. Well, what could work against them is that uh, he also placed the neighbor San Miguel in their penalty situation. I said rejected. I meant ejected, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> a minute to go. 37-35. Great chase. We have a turnover. Here's Abe King. Ricardo Brown. Up he goes. A little while ago. Loisaga seeing action for the first time. Now, this is a better defensive team for Great Pace. Lozaga, King, and Victorina, and Blackwell out there at the same time. What a quick move. Arna is going into second gear. He burned rubber, and he goes to the line for a three-point play. 38 seconds before the end of the first quarter. At the moment, Hineba trailing by five. Could be cut down a bit. It passes a nice, completes his three-point play. The big J, all set to check in, waiting at the wings. Blackwell for his fifth rebound. Anais averaging under 20 points per game. So far tonight, Francis has got three. Here is Pearson. Ricardo Brown looks at the time. They've got 11 on the shot clock. Blackwell keeps it alive. Anais. With 16 seconds before the end of the first quarter. The Big J makes his first entry in for a nice. Jaworski takes charge. They're trailing by five. 39-34, great pace. Well, we were wondering when Sonny was going to come in the game. Here he is. Three seconds called against Hackett, but he was about to go up. He slid a bit. Well, he was already in the lane when he received the basketball, so normally once you get the ball in that lane, you have to shoot right away. It's Ricardo Brown. He wants to make that event shot up by Hockett, preventing Ricardo Brown to make that with a good bead. He was able to put it up, but Hockett was there. So at the end of the first, it is great pace by five. We'll be back. Start of the second quarter, and after attending to his chores, we spot the presence of Ultra Managing Director. Henry Kahn, together with his lovely wife, Rose. Let's check now with my partner, Norman Black, for the first quarter stats. Well, in the first quarter, Pingoy, Great Pace shot 63%, while Hinebra shot 55%, exactly what we expected. Both teams shooting well. Good hustle by Tito Lozaga. Right, he's going to get the two points. No, it's an offensive foul. In the rebound areas, Hinebra got the better of Great Pace, 14 to 10. Eight of those offensive rebounds. And fast break points, it was Hinebra with 10, Great Pace with 7. As we enter the second quarter, partner, it is a Great Pace by 5, score standing at 39-34. Hinebra is turning the ball over a lot, though, Pingo. They had eight turnovers in the first quarter compared to four for Great Pace. Cross pass up to Hockett. Nice roll. And different Michael, strokes. Yes, Michael Hackett is really fired up here tonight. He looks like he wants to win a championship. A nice back and ball game, partnering with Robert Jaworski. And the out to help. Pearson gets away. What a move by Pearson. He went by three players that time to score the basket. Here is Francis. Squeezing pass through Pearson and Ricardo Brown. He was fouled when he shifted and tried to burn oh, rubber. The foul is going to go against Pearson. That'll be Willie Pearson's second personal foul and the second team foul carried by great taste. Under 11 minutes here in the second quarter, Francis and I at the line. Checking his performance of November 10th, he pumped in 22 points. One rebound, five assists, no errors at night for Francis. On the 
the matchup here as Ginebra is defending. Quadlis is covering Abe King. Teddy Saldana switching over to Pearson. Inside pass intended for Abe King. Akiton Mani Victorino. Oh, Blackwell is resting right now. Very tight defense from the Ginebra club right now. Here's Loisaga. Going to be warning. Yes. Against Michael Hackett. Legal defense. Next time will be a technical. It'll be interesting to see how Great Chase performs right now. The Corey Blackwell sitting on the bench. Of course, Blackwell had a very good first quarter. Trying to work the baseline. Abe King. Maybe a loose ball foul called against Abe King. He was all over the shoulders of Hackett. That'll be his first and the 13th foul against Great Taste. Yeah, three quick team fouls against Great Taste with 10 minutes and 23 seconds to go in the second quarter. And he never San Miguel trailing by three. Here's Terry Saldana. has got two points so far. Looking for Hockett. Stretching out was Abe King. Here is Pearson driving to the to Lloyd Saga. That was a very smooth running the brakes. Filling up the lanes. Hackett inside to Twadless. Quick foul given up by Ricardo Brown. That'll be his second Brown. tonight. Twadless has been averaging under 11 points per game. 10.8 to be exact. Got to dry up the wet spot. Maybe moisture. I became glued to Hockett. Ricardo Brown is punting the big J. At the corner, looking for Hockett. Good hit. Oh, Sonny Jaworski makes his first shot at the basket. It's a three-point ball game. Jaworski's been averaging 13.2 per game. Good hit coming from Ricardo Brown. He ended with 16 first quarter. That was his 18th point. Hockett may run out of space. Well, Great Case is doing a better job of getting back on defense now. Terry Saldana hits from the outside. What a big one. The fourth. The fourth point of Terry Saldana. Terry Saldana averaging 11.8 points per game. Very steady from the floor. Always playing a quality ball game. Carter Brown trying to work on that pick provided by Abe King. Cannot. From the wings, it is Pearson. Nice follow through. So far, he's got eight points tonight. Here is Twaddles looking for room. Lost it. Under the basket, the big J. Not enough space. Hackett is there, however. The offensive rebounds are really helping the hit Never Club. And in large part, it is Hackett there. He's pulled down five offensive rebounds. His defense has got three. Total of eight. Great taste in front by three. Can't really shake off Ginebra. Difficult shot, but somehow Ricardo Brown got the shooter's bounce and Norman Black. Yes, very difficult shot that time. Here's a nice. Well, Hackett jumped too soon that time. We have a fast break in the making with Willie Pearson. He scores over Sonny Dewarski. Pearson's got 10 points. Now, Hackett so far, he's pumped in 27 at 23 at the end of the first quarter. Hosting low. Got jumped by Abe King. No harm, no foul. Yeah, I'm sure Hackett is saying there was a lot of harm on that play, but no foul was called. Well, he's not making any statement. Well, Hackett rarely does say anything, Big Boy. But his eyes speak for him, and he was looking at referee Ledesma. The guy scoring game. Ricardo Brown puts oh, it up. what a shot by Ricky. Arnaiz was already on top of him. Here is the big J. He may take it in. Put it out by Loisaga. 